What is up everyone, it is Sacred Saiyan here, welcoming you back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing the 8th episode of the series, What If Goku Remembered the Saiyans. If you end up liking today's video, then please consider subscribing. It is free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, if you want to join my Discord server, then there is a link to that in the description of the video. You can talk to me and my community, grind for roles, hang out, and if you put your art on the art text channel, and 10 people react with a star, it will get featured at the end of the video. Also, if you want to support me and the channel, then you can become a channel member. There's a link in the description of the video to become one. There are multiple tiers, and each of them give you more and more perks. If you guys enjoy this part, and want to see another part of this series, then get this video to 500 likes. And with all of that out of the way, let's get into the 8th episode of... What if Goku remembered the Saiyans? This video begins in Battle of Gods. Bardock, Gini and Raditz have all become accustomed to Earth over this time. And they now have a home next to Goku and Chi Chi's home in Mount Palzu. Goku even taught Raditz and Bardock how to transform into Akari and even Super Saiyan. However they are having trouble combining the two transformations, as they have not yet mastered Super Saiyan. Beerus wakes up, and has the premonition of the Super Saiyan God as per usual. However, when he asks Whis where all the Saiyans are, Whis points out there's actually a Saiyan training under the Supreme Kai on his world. Beerus finds this intriguing, believing they may be the Super Saiyan God, so he tells Whis to take him there. On the world of the Kais, Gohan is training in his ultimate form, which he acquired from the Elder Kai after accidentally breaking the Z-Sword some time ago. Gohan is learning the techniques of the Supreme Kais, practically being an apprentice Kai, however just without the title. A beam of light then hits the planet behind Gohan. Gohan turning around, and he sees a purple cat and a tall blue man walk out of the beam of light. Beerus introduces himself, and Gohan kneels out of respect. The Supreme Kai informed him about Beerus and his status as the god of destruction. Beerus appreciates the Saiyan paying him respect, however he says he isn't here for formalities. He is here for the Super Saiyan God. Gohan is confused, not knowing what that is, but Beerus hypothesizes that Gohan may already be a Super Saiyan God without realising it, so he challenges the Saiyan to a battle. Gohan knows it is unwise to refuse Lord Beerus, so he accepts, powering up to his fullest and ultimate, and he begins to battle the God. Gohan here, being at least as strong as his Tournament of Power self, at a low ball. Bear in mind, Gohan has always kept up with his training, and has been training with Ultimate for a couple of years. Beerus is impressed with the Half Saiyan, Commending his power, however he can tell that he isn't the Super Saiyan God. So with a chop to the back of Gohan's neck, he is knocked out. And Beerus and Whis then head to Earth to meet the other Saiyans. Goku and Vegeta are talking at Bulma's birthday party. When all of a sudden, Beerus and Whis arrive. Beerus demanding to fight the Super Saiyan God. Goku and Vegeta also don't know what this is. As they individually fight Beerus and Primal Super Saiyan. And just like Gohan before them, they lose. And they don't put up nearly as good of a fight as Gohan did. Goku would then have the idea of summoning Shenron to ask about the Super Saiyan God, and he would do so, Shenron explaining the Super Saiyan God ritual as per normal, and there are more than enough Saiyans to perform it, so Goku becomes the Super Saiyan God and fights Beerus. Their battle ending as it does in canon, Beerus even stating that the hybrid Saiyan was still stronger, and some time later, both Goku and Vegeta would begin their training under Whis on Beerus' world, while Bardock and Raditz train with Gohan whenever he's on Earth, because as far as they know, Gohan is still the strongest Saiyan alive. Now, here's where we have another custom arc. You see, instead of Resurrection Earth, we will have a brand new arc called Caller's Revenge. You see, all the way back when Goku became a Primal Super Saiyan for the first time and defeated King Cold and Caller, yes he completely obliterated King Cold, but when he was finishing off Caller, he threw him into the sun. And here we find out Caller actually survived this, and was found by the big Getty star, meaning he becomes Metal Cooler. However, this Metal Cooler actually does training, and instead of the big Getty star and Metal Cooler going after New Namek, they go after Earth. And when they do, they are met by Gohan, Piccolo, Bardock, Raditz, along with the Human Z Fighters. Gohan steps forward, being in his ultimate form, and he tells the others to let him handle this. Gohan then dashes at Cooler, Hitting Cooler in the chest with a powerful punch, but to Gohan's shock, Cooler survives. He is greatly injured by the attack, however Gohan looks in horror as all of Cooler's injuries heal. An army of metal Coolers then stand behind the first one. Gohan clenching his fist, 
and having a determined look on his face. Johan then shouts for Krillin to go to Bulma and get him to contact Whis. He's unsure if they can handle this without Goku and Vegeta. Krillin nods, quickly flying away and then all the Z fighters ready themselves. Bardock and Raditz becoming Super Saiyans and then the two sides rush towards each other. On Beerus' world, Goku and Vegeta exit Whis' staff, breathing heavily as they are completely exhausted. Whis then realises Bulma is calling him, so he answers the call on his staff, and Bulma screams for Goku and Vegeta to go to Earth quickly, but since Goku doesn't have instant transmission, they can't just instantly teleport there. So Whis takes him to Earth, Beerus coming along as well, because he is hungry, and we head back to Earth, where things are completely out of control. Bardock and Raditz are both gold and grey tapes, and they are completely out of control. Hordes of metal callers are being smacked away by them, and Gohan is fighting hundreds of metal callers alone, and he is losing ground. He is taking too much damage, and it seems whatever he does, the metal callers just keep getting stronger. Gohan still has one trump card. He has no idea if it will work, but not knowing when Goku and Vegeta will arrive, he has no other choice. Gohan vs Aura, sending all of the callers surrounding him flying, and then Gohan begins to power up. His aura turning red, as he shouts, Kaioken times 20! Gohan is now using Kaioken on top of Ultimate, and this gives him the boost in power he needs. Gohan begins to effortlessly deal with the Metal Callers, even with hundreds of them attacking him at the same time. Goku, Vegeta, Whis and Beerus then arrive, Beerus yawning and telling them to hurry up and clean this mess up, while him and Whis go to Bulma to get some food. Goku and Vegeta then look around, seeing all of the Metal Callers, and they see the two golden apes ravaging the area. Goku then sees Gohan easily dealing with the Callers, and he realises he's using Kaioken on top of Ultimate. That gives Goku an idea, however that is for another time. Vegeta then taps Goku's shoulder, pointing towards an area where Piccolo, along with all the human Z fighters, are struggling to hold off the metal callers they are facing. Vegeta tells Goku he will help them, but Goku needs to finish the job, permanently this time. Goku nods as Vegeta flies off, and Goku then begins to fly towards the Big Getty Star's core. Goku arriving in the core, and coming face to face with Cooler's true form. Goku transformed into his newly acquired Super Saiyan Blue form, and begins to combat Cooler, however he simply isn't strong enough to finish him alone. But luckily, he doesn't have to, as Gohan arrives, still using Ultimate Kaioken, and he works alongside his father to destroy Cooler's core, using a father-son Kamehameha to finish him off, and completely destroy the big Getty star. And that, is where we're going to end off this part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick and easy to do. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to Neo Whitcomb, Destroy God Broly, Alpha What Ifs, Yeti Myth, XRR, and Frederick Frankenstein for becoming channel members. If you want to be shouted out at the end of the video, and give a perks like the channel members here, then there is a link in the description down below to become a channel member. It greatly supports me, and it helps me immensely. With all of that out of the way, I hope to see you all in the next episode of What If Goku Remembered the Saiyan?